companions. They're in-game, they're dealing damage and changing the way GFC is being played. That and much more in dev blog number 53. Three sections to get through, starting with game and Web3 development. Companions, prepare yourself for an epic battle against the mighty dragon and alongside your trusted companion. In the upcoming update, which is now live, players will have the opportunity to unleash their companion NFTs during matches. If you own these companions, you can bring them into the thrilling gameplay. Explore the GFC companion collection on OpenSea for more details and to acquire these powerful allies. Witness the dynamic abilities of the companions through cap captivating screenshots and mesmerizing gifts just down here below. Get ready to experience an unforgettable adventure with your loyal companions by your side. So there's a link here to the GFC companions on OpenSea and some screenshots and um, little gifts. And I also have a video um, that I'll be playing in the background as well to show you how um, the companion is used. So my question to those who have played with a companion or against a companion, how do you find the balance of play when you have a, a companion? So are they dealing too much damage, uh, not enough damage? Are they too strong? Have they got too much HP, not enough HP? How's their movement? I want to hear the feedback. I'm sure the team do as well. So leave them in the comments below. So this is going to change the way GFC is now played. In my opinion, I'm really looking forward to seeing these, particularly in the competitions if companions are allowed in the upcoming competitions. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Project T, we've just received important updates from our game designer, which necessitate modifications to the logic we had previously implemented. Over the next few weeks, our team will be diligently working on incorporating these changes and ensuring that the logic aligns seamlessly with the updated design. Battle Royale, we are currently in the process of integrating the backend system with the new custom ID feature, which was specifically devised to overcome the limitations posed by unique wallet addresses. Although this process is taking slightly longer than anticipated, we are uh, committed to rewriting the necessary logic to ensure smooth functionality within the new system. Rest assured, our team is dedicated to delivering an accurate and enhanced gaming experience. Update Christmas event gift. So I didn't see this one coming. All players who have received the Christmas events equipped skill gift, except for the Santa character, will now be transformed into wielders of Santa's special weapon, the Christmas gun. This new weapon features two distinct skills for enhanced gameplay. So now the normal skill is you launch a snowball that slows down enemies within range for a duration of one second uh, that's pretty powerful the weapon has a quick cooldown time of 0 0.9 seconds between each reload and shot and the ultimate skill uh, retaining the original snowball skill the christmas gun now delivers increased damage per hit with the damage per hit boosted from 400 to 900 so over double in order to maintain game balance and ensure fairness for all players we have removed the previously granted christmas events uh, gift skills and replaced them with the christmas gun the decision to eliminate uh pill slot items that provided damage and stun effects was made to rectify the imbalance in weapon capabilities and to address the rarity of stun abilities, thus ensuring a more equitable experience for all players regardless of whether they were able to unlock the previous skills or not. Some weapon updates, so the cube, uh, the normal damage has been buffed, increased from 1316 to 1376 per hit, and the ultimate uh, damage has been increased from 1069 to 1108 per hit. The Divine Blade has been reworked, so the normal attack, uh, the change the position when slashing with each slash, the character will glide up a short distance following the direction of the cursor or the navigation key. Uh, the damage has been increased from 1525 to 1625, max hits per weight change from 3 to 1, cooldown reduced from 1.9 to 0.8, so a decent buff there. And the ultimate attack, uh, jump up and flips around before slamming the ground, dealing damage and slowing all enemies in front of caster in large area so the weapon ability has changed from dash to a shield and i think uh, a lot of people prefer the shield so it looks like the divine blade and cube we've got decent buffs uh being the, the best weapons supposed to be the best weapons in game environments the sand map so they've updated the art style for the grass as you can see in the images here and added environmental decorations such as cactus and pipes so good to see those maps get uh, a nice update pc client in the pc version we have the advantage of surpassing the hardware limitations of mobile devices allowing us to enhance and improve the graphics to deliver a higher quality visual experience additionally we are actively addressing the issue of players running multiple instances of the game on the same computer this measure is being implemented to prevent potential cheating and maintain a fair gaming environment for all players our commitment to combating
Banning cheating ensures that everyone can enjoy the game on an equal playing field. Got to love that. Bots, we have recently made adjustments to the selection of weapons available to bots in order to ensure a more balanced gameplay experience. By removing higher tier weapons from their arsenal, we aim to minimize the impacts of bots on the outcome of matches. I do like that change. These tweaks are aimed at creating a fairer and more enjoyable gaming environment for all the players. Redeem code. So we are excited to announce the implementation of the redeem code system as a new feature in the game. In the upcoming game build, our players will have the ability to enter redeem codes into a dedicated text box and unlock exclusive in-game items as rewards. To enhance the functionality of this feature, we have developed an API that allows item distribution to players via email. This API can be utilized on our website or by a Discord bot, providing a versatile means of delivering items to our players. Furthermore, we have included a screenshot below showcasing a player who has successfully claimed the temporary companion from the redeem code. This uh, companion is set to expire as you can see in one day and 23 hours adding a sense of time limited excitement to the gameplay experience so that's really cool tournament and fractal api integration as the team finishes up on the other features they have gone back to work on the tournament feature we had some problems with server and database latency which affected the responsiveness of game status updates but we were able to overcome those issues and continue the development process currently the tournament game mode is in its final beta testing phase before its release so far we have completed the following elements the api to initiate and manage tournaments. Uh, screenshot here. Cloud script in PlayFab to ensure security when using tournament API, fractal API implementation in Unity. Battle Royale gameplay trailer, some screenshots from the trailer here. And yeah, I really like this artwork. I like the style, it's really cool. Game performance character stats system. We have rewritten the character index system in the game, switching from the library system to the naming system. So the retrieval of character data will be many times faster, increasing the performance of the game. Love that. And pack sprite atlas. We've touched on this previously. Compact character textures to sprite atlas in order to reduce draw calls in game. Bit above my head that one, but it sounds sounds positive. Uh, bugs and testing. So addition of destructible environments on every map. Uh, sounds like that's been tested. Intro testing of GFC in-game armor. And look how cool that looks. I just love that, um, the armor on this character. Some new graphic updates, weapons in the map. So a bunch of bugs have been logged. There's quite a few here. After the new addition of destructible environments, players are able to see enemies hiding in grass. When a large area of grass or bush is destroyed, the respawn animation looks corrupted on both both maps, sand and sci-fi maps. The new grass and bushes lack smooth trends, loosen effect transition when entering. Transition is instant instead of a smooth reveal aspect as it was on other builds. They found an area on the sand map that was restricting movement in the middle of gnawing hunger aoe hits an obstacle the ultimate attack does not deal any damage found a broken animation with the brown asteroid weapon causing an ai bot not being able to attack basic attack animation delay when using the hammer of gods corrupt graphic is displayed when using the byo pill and when a shield is enabled in game and a few other bugs have been logged so there's more here uh, but there have been some bugs resolved which is great so the controller default scheme changed to match universal controller settings so left trigger and right trigger reverse for basic attack has been fixed inventory screen was not updating properly once a player selects a new inventory item so now the inventory screen now refreshes uh, as designed companions are no longer able to detect enemy players using invisible byo pills so that, that's good resolved an issue where player was unable to manual aim on the pc build and pink asteroids manual aim indicator now matches the weapon type so yeah lots of updates in section a as always let's move on to section b yeah, business development and marketing we recently added a major feature to our Discord server, the Ask GFC bot. Our self-built bot is a game-changing Discord bot that transforms information, access, and sharing powered by chat GPT and intelligent agents. Ask GFC uses natural language processing to deliver accurate and immediate responses to questions about GFC. To use this bot, simply type forward slash ask into the chat and select the command as shown below. Once selected, you will activate the prompt field by typing your question. By hitting enter once your question is 
typed, the bot will get to work and start forming a response to your question. We will work to continuously keep our Ask GFC bot up to date and as accurate as possible. Since the release, we have already given the, the bot a major update by changing the way the prompt appears on the user side and the text field integration for a more seamless user experience. We also introduced the new roles, staff and streamer on our Discord server. You can now find it right below our team section. For the time being, we added uh, Stella, our director of vibes. Mal, uh, sorry, apologies if I pronounce that um, incorrectly. Our BD associate, I'm guessing that's business development and Slag, our Twitter wizard. We want to continue to lead with transparency and accessibility, which is why we brought this new role to life in the first place. Also, we would like to give a quick introduction to our Twitter wizard. Uh, I'm a dedicated and enthusiastic social media marketing professional with a 12 month tenure in various NFT projects. Known for a deep understanding of algorithms and developed project research skills, I've successfully grown my Twitter account to nearly a million engagements and a rejuvenated corporate account from 300 to 5,000 to 6,000 engagements per post. My creativity, focus and unique writing style contribute to my adeptness in capturing the audience's attention. Besides Web3, I'm also a sports enthusiast, used to playing in a semi-professional basketball league. I'm open to communications and networking, so I'm looking forward to getting to know everyone in the GFC community. And that is from Slag.eth. Some of his tweets are here, which you can see some of his previous tweets. And here's a screenshot of some of the new roles. Furthermore, we had extensive conversations with our moderators and have revamped their involvement with GFC. You will see our moderators get more involved and more importantly, take up their own responsibilities within GFC and our community. We are very excited about this step as we highly value and appreciate the involvement of uh, our mods. And we'd like to take uh, this moment to honor, show love and mention our most loyal moderators to date who have gone through good and bad times with us as a team. So big shout outs to Beckus, Mad Slasher, and Zeno. We also closed all further applications for new moderators as we are in the process of reviewing all of the applications and trying to find the most suitable candidate to join our mod squad. Regardless of who we will choose to join, we would like to thank everyone for applying and being open to supporting us. Additionally, we want to continue our bi-weekly community calls. We decided to schedule it during the week this time around to compare involvement and attendance from community compared to the weekend days. You can check the time and set your reminders here. There's a link to the Discord event here. For those of you who might have missed our most recent Twitter spaces, we highly encourage you to go and listen to it. You guys had two great Twitter spaces, one with fellow CMOs in space and the other with friends Zeneca, Henry the Grape and Champagne Wang. Yeah, there's links here. Last but certainly not least, we want to mention our last whitelist giveaway. We were selected by CyberCongs to hand out a few whitelist spots for their upcoming Gen Kai Mint. There has not been a lot of info published yet, but as soon as we know more about the supply, mint price and other details, we will make uh, sure to update everyone. We eat decided that moving forward, we will handpick the whitelist winners. We're rewarding those community members who, number one, are active, are engaged, show initiative to help GFC grow. Most of the whitelist spots will continue to go towards battle pass holders who fit these points. However, there is also a chance for other holders to get access to upcoming wins by being involved in our community. Alrighty, let's wrap up this video with Section C Community. Congratulations to the winners of our last tournament. We were super excited to get back into tournaments and we want to thank everyone for participating. The next tournament, as all also been announced more details to come we streamed the latest tournament and had a lot of fun alongside our community we are looking forward to the next tournament and want to continue streaming and provide that great experience and share excitement during the tournaments it would be fantastic to receive more feedback from the community on how you're enjoying our current tournaments and the stream experience and here are the uh winners of the pistols and daggers tournament so number one the beninging number two aft1 third place was d2d fourth was c2g and fifth to seventh AFT2, Light of the Jungle, and Degeneration. Congratulations to everyone involved in those tournaments. All the prizes for the above teams have now been sent out. You can find the links to the transactions in the tournament news channel, and here's a screenshot of that. We also made sure to send out all of the prizes for the previous Galaxy Cup. Once again, you can find the links to the transactions on our Discord in the tournament news channel. We are aware that the prizes for the previous Twitter competition have yet to be sent out due to the recent changes in staff and the amount of activities. The team is going to reach out to the winners throughout this week to get all of the remaining prizes sent out. If you're part of the winners, please feel free to show initiative and reach out to the team by opening a ticket on Discord to confirm your wallet and participation. And there is a list here of the 10 people or 10, 10 winners. For the next tournament uh, on July 9th, so 10 a.m. EST, uh, it's a holders tournament, Gen 1 Fighters on the European server. 
uh, must use three different weapons and there's more information here on this tournament and there's a sign up form towards uh, the bottom of the article here with registrations closing on July 8th 10pm EST and more info can be found on Discord and if you have specific questions please don't hesitate to reach out to the team so there you go another massive update from dev blog number 53 uh, companions uh, sort of the, the header there the lead item again let us know how you're finding the companions in game really interested to hear and see how, how the gameplay changes over time thanks so much for watching this video we'll catch you in the next one